finally happening for you. You're finally going to get your own apartment where you don't have to live with a crappy boy. <laughs> No roommate? No boyfriend? No horrible roommate. <laughs> Alright. Animal Crossing. City folk. Finally doing it. It's finally happening. This has been months and months in the making. There was a, a bit of an odyssey regarding us getting our hands on a copy of this game, actually. I tried to order this on Amazon approximately six months ago. And it was like through Amazon, but Amazon was getting it from some sort of third party proprietary thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna badmouth them on the uh, on the channel here, but uh, what they sent me was perhaps what I ordered. Ah, but um, the process is part of the fun of this. But one. it was three months late, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> so what happened was the, let, Scott. the thing was ordered in we're gonna say late winter, getting into spring, give or take. Yeah. And um, it was ordered from Amazon again. It was just you know, and then uh, it was uh, supposed to be coming approximately just over a month later. That was the sort of the time frame that we got. And it's like, oh, probably because Animal Crossing, you know, people either bought copies, owned the copies, but nobody has a copy to sell. So probably they, it's coming from some weird factory or something. And then a while into, I guess probably we should preface a little bit. This is another guest episode, and I've got the lovely and talented Miss Veronica. Oh yeah, let's just backtrack, way yeah. backtrack. So Veronica emailed them after she tried to order the copy of the game, and they said to her, in all French, mind you, um, just be patient. It takes 40 days, in, again, in French. And thankfully Veronica mm -hmm. does speak French, so this wasn't like a horrible time for her, but she was like, why on earth are they contacting me in French first? Because we were... <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I really, really should have connected the dots on this one. <laughs> <laughs> but there's <laughs> more. Um, so uh, another probably 30-ish 30, 30 days passed oh, at that point. Least, at, at least. At least. And it, it's well past 40 days from the time that it was allegedly shipped. And she emails them again, and they're like, why won't you just be patient? And she's like, um, so eventually uh, she emails Amazon and she's like, I don't know if this is ever coming. I think I may have been ripped off by people who only are contacting me in a language that there was a very good chance I may not have actually been fluent in. <laughs> and uh, Amazon sends her an email about a day later that's like very, very customer servicey. It's like, we are so sorry. We think your product may have gotten lost in the mail. Wait, Here's... wait, wait. What's our town call? Oh, um, the land of bees. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll meet you halfway on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they refund, Amazon refunds her the $17 that she spent on the game, which, you know, was a bit of a steal, but, I mean, whatever. And, uh... Including shipping. Including I shipping. I thought I got a great deal. That was a <laughs> steal. And then a, day, a literal day after the refund happens... We get a package in the mail, and it's uh, about approximately the size of like a DVD case, maybe. And we open it up, and wouldn't you friggin' know it? It's a copy of Animal Crossing for the Nintendo Wii. But wouldn't you friggin' know it? The game that we know for the Animal Crossing for the Wii is called Animal Crossing City Folk. Yeah, uh, and this one was called Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city. So it turned out. It's a region locked UK only copy of the same game, and yeah. this will not play in our North American console. Which I should have figured out oh, was from Europe when these people were contacting me only. Anyway, here we are. We, um, I got a trial for Amazon Prime, and Amazon Prime sent us a very prompt copy directly from Nintendo. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. And Amazon Prime came through for us. Yeah. Aw, here's our town. That's very cute. This is Bees. Welcome to Bees Town. <laughs> Bees Town. <laughs> um, uh, known in, in long form, of course, as the Land of Bees. Yeah. Oh, can you, okay. So when he shows you the map, you're supposed to be able to like, re randomize where everything sits or something like that? I don't think you can change it. I think it's. Oh. You're stuck with it. Ha! 
And also, I really missed something. I was pretty invested in this story. It was a very good story. But now, I whenever I look at that copy of the, the game that's in this apartment, uh, instead of it reading Animal Crossing, Let's Go to the City, it reads Animal Crossing, Let's Go to the City, but in a very bad, fake French accent. <laughs> like Animal Crossing, Let's Go to the City! <laughs> So they brought that on themselves. Yeah, we still have it. I don't know what to do with it now. Like, I just, I don't know. I can't use it. I can't really sell it here. If at one point we find a region lot. If anyone wants it. Contact us, any yeah. UK viewers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Here we are. Oh, there oh, I am. I'm so cute. Look at me. I like her hair. I like her hair, too. Can you be blonde in Animal Crossing? You can. I'm very blonde right now, so. I think, yeah, you, you have become blonde. Um, I think there's actually a hairdresser in this one, so. And there is a hairdresser, and also the way that you determine your style and your color is by answering a set of seemingly unrelated questions. Yeah. Wow. Well. So, uh, if you, we get to the point where we're at the hairdresser, I'll just look up a walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so map. Pockets. Pockets. Oh, you can also use the Wii Remote to design your own clothing in this one, too. You can Cute. go to the clothing store and, uh, and yes, draw Yes, we design. got cherries. That's always exciting. Because each town only gets one core fruit, right? Yeah, well, you can visit other towns and, and pick get their, their fruit, fruit and then plant or it if, yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if visitors come to your town, they um, can take it. Yeah, yeah, then you can take fruit and share fruit, but you only start off in, with one. And you need uh, friend codes to link up with people in this game, yeah. which was like the was... most unintuitive way to connect with people online that Nintendo could have possibly conjured. Okay, so we went across the bridge and get up to... Your house? Is it... Oh no, I don't have a... No, it... no I we want to get to... That's Tom Nick's door. Yeah. So I think that's where we want to go, because he's the guy who's going to sell me... A house. A house. Yeah. Yeah, I was always, because I had, um, what is it, Wild World, the DS? Right, yeah, there was, I think there was Wild was... World and then there was New Leaf. That was, yeah, that's for the 3DS though. Yeah, yeah. I'm old school, I got that, um, as Scott loves to hear me say, that Nintendo, that, that Nintendo Game, Game Boy, Boy she that calls Game it, Boy. She calls any console that is held in a hand a Game Boy. I'm really going <laughs> Um, also, I was gonna say... Yeah, so, uh, and I was always... I can't control things with my left hand, I'm very right-handed. Why don't you switch hands then? Because then I have to push buttons, I need both controllers in one hand. That's not likely. <laughs> Is that gonna do it for you? I always, because the, the movement through space with the left thumb is very, um... Uh, I know it's that almost... it should make sense, and yeah. I, know, I know that that's what... Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Just bear with me while I figure this out. No, I gotta switch back. Gotta switch back. That's, that's the way to hold it, yeah. Um, I went to the, the used game store. The, um, I'll, I'll do a plug yeah. for those guys. No, no way. Which um, one? Fan paper. It's a... Oh, yeah. It's a video game store that basically they deal in used and resold copies of old games. And they're friggin' awesome. Fan paper. Very appropriate name for them, but um. All right. Uh, okay. All right. How do we get down here? You see my problem? Well, there's signs. Maybe we there's should. There's gotta be a way. No, you, you can tap on them, right? Yeah. Fortune and glory are underground. Meticulous. Oh well, that was cryptic. <laughs> um, but when I went to fan favorite, I found a copy of the Animal Crossing game for the Nintendo GameCube. Which we don't have the ability to uh, record right now, uh, but it okay. was like it was like a limited edition ah, GameCube no. version. And yeah, this is right. You want to go down to the left? No, I'm just on this ledge. Hey, down to the right. Yeah. See? Oh my god. Yeah. Be... There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go visit this guy. Cranny. Next cranny. Next That's right. Cranny. That's right. Um, but it was a limited edition, like, special edition of... Oh, you... Son of a bitch. Of the Animal Crossing of the GameCube, and it came with, like, a special Animal Crossing memory card. 
right. and for some, somehow the the used game store had a copy that had the memory card included. In it. Seriously? Yeah, I was like, man, that's impressive. That'd be a good one. That's Okay, so I'm. Uh, you want to go to town hall? Gonna... So the lights are on. I, that's exactly what I was just about to say. I beat you to it because I'm more obnoxious than you. <laughs> <laughs> the one town building in town that's got lights on. Oh, it went very fast. I didn't know it was in here. Oh, back there this way. It's not town hall. No, it's not. But the lights are on. Yeah, I mean, someone's home. Yeah, that's not bad. So Town Hall is on the other side of the river. That's uh, okay. Scott, you can just edit this all out. Oh, but I'll keep so much of it. You just make it look like I'm really good at this. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't have to figure out if I was right or left-handed for a minute there. So there's that sassy old Town Hall gal. Alright, Pally! That one. I would like to run the. Yeah. Oh! Are you Nika? The girl who just moved here? Literally, currently, in the past like, 15 minutes or so? Yeah, I've been wandering around town getting. <laughs> <laughs> running into <laughs> invisible walls. No need to diddle, Gaddy. Let's take a look at where you'll be living. All available houses in Land of Bees are the same size and price. Oh, I get to pick. Get to pick one of four. Wow. I've never played an Animal Crossing game that's not on the DS, so I feel like this is going to be. <gasps> wow. So many options. Where are we going to live? There's a beachfront. There's... Ooh, beachfront property. It's not bad. See, that would be fine, but it's very far it's, away from everything else. Yeah, like that one that's like. Right I'm thinking like. Either that one or the one up there. Yeah, because those two are both handy to. I like Stuck this one because it's on this side of the river. And also it's pretty much dead center. Oh, is she just showing me or do I get to pick? Oh, Alright, maybe hit okay. Let me just get the paperwork started for your new place, okay? Which one? In the meantime, why don't you follow your map and check out the house locations around uh, town. Once you find your future home, how about you bump into the owner, Tom? Nick? We we'll need to talk to him okay. about payment for the place. So I really right. just went about this all backwards, probably because Maybe. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's fine. We were Do talking. Do you know about how to open so... your map? Tell me. Do you? I did it many, many times in the past ten minutes. And it did so work eventually. I figured it out. What we got here? I really like that. I don't know if she does it in this one, but yeah, if you stand at. Mm, she waddles over, yeah. Yeah. So sweet. So cute. <laughs> Um, so, I, I, yeah, I guess you're, oh, yeah, this is sort of like the, um, the dumpster cell box in, in Stardew. Yeah, right? and, uh, yeah. Harvest Moon. Yeah. Like, all of these games have similar conventions and, and... I love it! <laughs> Accessible! I love them all! <laughs> I know, we need to go back to Stardew, too, because, um, mm -hmm. we started playing... We and what happened? Playing. <laughs> no. Uh, we started playing, and did we lose some of the footage? Is that what we lost? Uh, no, no, we lost all of the audio. Mm. For some reason, the microphone was just like right. disconnected. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is bleak, but I'm sure they're all going to be bleak. Oh, yeah. Somebody's home. It's you. It's me. Hello. Oh. Is Tom Nook going to be up there creeping? I uh, sure hope not. Like a dang bandit. Maybe once you leave, you should have Because I think you have to talk to him to finalize the sale, right? Yeah, you do. And then. See, well, that's why I went to look for him immediately when I got to the town. So I was like, yeah, there oh, he is. Do oh, there he is. I guess. Because so usually, or in the in the DS version, mm -hmm. anyway, in the Game Boy, Game Boy version. The Game Boy version. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Um. You immediately go to the store and it puts you to work. Uh, yeah, paying off the first like thousand bells of your mortgage. So if and I I cannot remember, but I'm fairly certain that this is the game where you actually become the mayor of the town. Is that? I think because uh, my actually my mom used to play Animal Crossing like all the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get that. Yeah, and there was one that she played on the Wii, and she was the mayor of the town. 
but I, I, I'm quite, I'm pretty sure it's this one. But I still find that there's a couple for the Wii, right? I don't actually know. Well, we know there's at least two. We know there's at least uh, <laughs> City, City Bones and, and Let's Go to the City. Go to the city. <laughs> I know that there, like the one thing that I remember the most was because my my mom when she was playing it, she was like very into the. Um, the harvesting and the the gathering of things and the exploring, mm -hmm. but there were certain things that just like moved a little too fast for her because she just didn't have video game reflexes. It's like she's a grown ass woman. Why would she ever need that? Right. Um, and sometimes a gift will float on over town. It will happen maximum one time. Yeah, a and you need a slingshot. And you need to take the shot and land the shot in order to get it out of the sky. And she would always like just shove me into the room. She'd be like. It's here, it's time! <laughs> ah. Yikes. In this economy? <laughs> okay. Ah, now, that's good to hear. Yes, yes, very good. I will appreciate it if you pay by money transfer, if you don't mind. I'll let you know the details later. But, Nika, there is something more important than settling the house business. And that is, how do you plan on making a living here? Well, I was planning on maybe just like selling some cherries and some seashells that wash up on the shore. Finding noids and putting them in the basement so make, they make a song. Exactly, and maybe shaking some trees until some money falls out. You know. Dig, dig up a dinosaur every now and then. do. Hmm, yes I know. You can come work for me part time. Yes, you do have to work for me part time. I can teach you how to make money, show you around town two birds with one stone, yes? Wait, do I have the option to opt out? Or is he just gonna uh, talk you know, in a roundabout way until I eventually say yes or anything? Probably that. Well, let's just shortcut that. Very good, it's decided. I kind of gave him sort of a, a Peter Stormar sensibility. You know, no. I'm gonna ask. If you he... decided on a fine house, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town? Hmm? Oh, and make especially sure to introduce yourself to Mayor. Yes, yes. The Mayor should be in the Town Hall, so don't forget. It's a little weird. Mm. <laughs> Why not Tom Nook? <laughs> <laughs> Please start to the Mayor. Every character in... Mm, there's some bugs flying around. Yeah, I don't have a net yet. I don't have anything yet. You know what? Freaking, I, I barely have a house. I told you the cliff notes of this story the other day, but um, I had a fight with the biggest spider I have ever seen in my life. I yeah, I know. I got some text messages about yeah. it. Yeah. About my anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Was Once, it in our house? It was in our house. It rode into the house on my bag. See. And I put my bag on the counter. That I'm I'm more upset. But, well, yeah. let me rephrase. Okay. If I were you, mm -hmm. I would be less upset about the spider being in the house. And more than, upset about... Yeah, and more upset about the fact that the spider apparently hitched a ride on an article of clothing that you were currently wearing. That I was carrying on my person? Yeah, so uh -huh. I, um, I hate it. Yeah. So once upon a time, there was a spider so big in this place that Veronica saw it. And she shouted for me because she thought that out of the corner of her eye, it was a mouse. And that is <laughs> really scary. That is a big mouse. And uh, this spider was at least a quarter of an inch wider in diameter than that one Ooh, was. I'm so glad it was a mouse. Yeah, it was like that was the mouse. This was the rat. The rat. Ah, <laughs> oh, Goldie. It's very cute. I like this house as well. Yeah, a very big cactus thing. I actually got a friend who this sensibility very much reminds me of. Do I know the friend? You do. I, yeah, I'm making up a friend right now. Yeah. I'm not gonna uh, spill beans on names. I had to cut yeah, out. Yeah, I was like, I don't know, do, do you name the friends on the channel? Do you just... I, I had to, I, like, I went out of my way to cut out a name of a person that I haven't actually spoken to in probably over a decade in one of the <laughs> earlier videos I've talked about So... Oh, I chose the wrong question. She's gonna explain fruit to me. Oh god. 
Listen, Goldie. So the other thing about the fruit is that the cherries sell okay, but any of the out of town fruits sell for more, correct? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Every now and then a uh, coconut will wash up on the shore. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's always great because you can plant them. And then you have palm trees. And then you have palm trees and you have a more valuable fruit in your city. And you don't necessarily have fruit. to travel in so order to. Coconut isn't really their fruit. Once upon a time, my sister and I actually had an argument that uh, coconuts could be potentially considered it is mammal. Milk, hair. Bear live young. Bear live young? Explain. The, the tree grows. Coconut uh, falls. It's a stretch. The, the tree grows. I the, appreciate The human being grows from pudgy sack of weird flesh <laughs> into adult human being. The coconut grows into adult coconut tree. Oh, this is just another empty house. This is one of the ones. This was the beachfront one. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? Nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Center location more important to me, yeah. as you know, based on our actual house. <laughs> <laughs> we live smack dab in the middle of somewhere, I guess. <laughs> that not mention the other town either. I don't know where you are. <laughs> mystery. Oh, wait. There it is. You just gotta tap right on it. B. Oh. Yeah, see? You wouldn't think. There's, there's only like a small. Oh, there's a big old bug over there! Running away from the bug. <laughs> oh, this constant noise. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, you fell in a pit! What the? What a shitty first day. <laughs> I've been indoctrinated into working for a borderline slave driver. Oh, I was and I fell here. in a pit! I fell in a pit! God damn it. I'm not crazy about this lower level. Higher level setup mm. of our town, but a fan of uh, not duplexes as much as uh, vinyls. No, vinyls are duplexes. We're talking about the word for a uh, uh, bungalow. A fan of bungalows. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives here? You do. That's my no, that's not my okay. house. <laughs> I genuinely thought you just rolled up to your place. No, my place is on the other side of the bridge. Ooh, is Opal an elephant? Yeah. Aww. Cute. You have a fresh face and tan, aren't you? Everything about this game is so cute. Wait, I think I heard a rumor that someone new is moving to town. This should be fun. It's always nice to meet someone new. I'm Opal. Nice to meet you, Snoot. Snoot? Snoot. Uh, I that love is a very it. Good I love phrase. it when the characters um, give you nicknames that you do not consent to. Because sometimes they're horrific and other times they're. Bizarre and or cute. Yeah. Like, Snoop, no one asked for that. Do I love it? Absolutely. <laughs> Did I ask for it? No. Never thought of it. Never crossed my mind. Um, I think it's a little bit late at night. Oh, um, there's, a, there's a pit there, too. Uh, I think oh, it might not be a pit. It might um, be a, might a be, relic. Yeah, you gotta yeah. get a shovel for that. I think the one thing that you want to do before you go to bed is go to um, Town Hall. And because the mayor. The mayor yeah. He's talking about I think that this might be a little tough. Ooh, there's someone. Look at that dog. Cute little puffer. Who are you? Walker. <laughs> I see what they did there. Clever. Welcome to bees. Welcome to the land of bees. Where guys named Walker are. It ain't no bad to see it. I'm just a rumor. Once you get your social links high enough with the characters, though, you can force them to have. A specific catchphrase, right? Like well, instead of calling you Snoot, they can yeah, say like they'll ask you. They'll yeah. be like, "Hey, Mika, I'm looking for a new catchphrase. What should it be?" Or like, or they'll be like, "Hey, I was thinking of saying Snoot all the time. What do you think of Snoot?" And then you can be like, "I think that that's kind of a dumb thing." Yeah, like, and they'll be like, "Oh, do you have a suggestion?" <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't. I don't care for the stress of it. As soon as I start feeling like anxious and stressed out by a game that's supposed to be like relaxing and mm -hmm. you know a bit of escapism like I lose all interest because why would I want to play something that's like more stressful than my actual life this is just an adorable version of the actual life exactly whoa wait I didn't what is your favorite animal oh shit raccoon 
kids these days Should I have with your time? wild hair and your hoot nannies and your lack of respect for elders. I'm sorry, I take it back. It was obviously a tortoise. What were we talking about again? Probably, probably tortoise would have gotten this soon. It's fine. I had to be. I had to be honest. You had to be you. What's that? I think he's old and Scottish. Can you do that for me? Ooh, I can't. I'll embarrass myself doing a bad Scott. Scottish accent. Okay. How like, about... it'll just sound like me doing Shrek. Yeah, that's any album, though. All of who? All of who? Please go all... on. <laughs> all of you Scots. <laughs> <laughs> you all sound like Shrek to me. My sister practiced doing her her Shrek, and her, or her Scottish accent, sorry, mm-hmm. by just repeating the line. That'll do, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. She can't say anything else. <laughs> she can say that line exceptionally well. Anytime donkeys come up, she's ready for it. But it just doesn't fly most of the rest of the time. Oh. That'll do, donkey. That'll do.